Good morning, Bitcoin. Welcome to Bitcoin Coffee Break, the show in which we have a quick look at the Bitcoin price and see uh, some of the other markets which may be affecting the Bitcoin price too. Bitcoin's up 1.5% uh, to $7,080. It's had a high of $7,147 and a low of $6,880. Um, it's very much taken a breath of fresh air from its parabolic run, um, but it's just kind of like dropping about, having a bit of a consolidation period. Um, maybe before the consensus effect kicks in, which has historically always been a thing, but there's part of me which kind of thinks that maybe that happened, you know, during Magical Crypto Conference. But I mean, consensus is, is such a big event in New York um, uh, um, for the rest of, you know, Wall Street is made made aware of, of, of the existence of Bitcoin and and, um, and how much uh, interest there is in it. So we'll see how that goes. Um, but yeah, it just kind of feels like it's stalling and taking, taking a little bit of a breath of fresh air and then, then it's going to pop back up. Um, but obviously, you know, uh, in these uh, bear markets, it can, it can, or oh, I mean, in the sort of market we're in now, it could, it could very much um, drop down again back to this uh, base where it, it, it was before. Um, so don't, don't invest everything into it. You know, um, only invest what you can afford to lose. Uh, so let's have a look at the, uh, the news feed. Bitcoin could uh, blow off or lift off. Yeah, so I think that's fair to say. Actually, it's, it's, it's either ready to drop or it's ready to go up. Um, um, uh, obviously, personally, I think it's incredibly undervalued, so I imagine it going up. But you know, it can also go down. So up or down is the uh, is the um, uh, the forecast. Um, crypto market consolidating gains. Yeah, that's probably fair to say. I think uh, cryptocurrency investor granted seventy five million by U.S. court in cyber theft case. Well, that's pretty cool. So like you know, the U.S. court's kind of getting ahead around uh, Bitcoin, which is uh, which is good. Um, uh, let's have a little look. Ban all cryptos. Uh, call call rings out from U.S. Congress. Reasons why it'll never work. I mean, obviously it'll never work for Bitcoin, and it will never work for cryptos and cryptography. Um, but quote unquote cryptos, you know, it probably work for ninety nine percent of cryptos. So I suppose that's a fair uh, statement. Um, so let's move on to the next one. Let's move on to Litecoin. Shall we see how Litecoin's doing? Plucky little Litecoin. Um, Going on to the, the the you know the the tail coat of Bitcoin, uh, so Litecoin's eighty six dollars. It's at one point five percent. It's had a high of eighty seven dollars fifty and a low of eighty four dollars forty. Um, it's, it's pretty much just mirroring uh, mirroring Bitcoin's behavior there. It's having a little chop about. Obviously, you know it popped out of that ascending triangle and then um, didn't go anywhere near as high as it should have. So that was a you know it's a, a false pattern there. Um, uh, yeah, let's move on. Monero. Monero is sluggishly hopping up 0.4%. Uh, it's, it's at $76. It's had a high of $77.60 and a low of $74.70. Um, uh, and it's it's mirroring Litecoin and Bitcoin. It's just having a chop about, you know, getting a breath of fresh air. Um, uh, I mean, it's it's on a, on a longer time frame here. Is this a six month? A six month. You know, six month here, it's not, it's still looking pretty bearish. You know, if it weren't for its relationship with the rest of, uh, well, with Bitcoin, um, then I would say this is pretty bearish. But um, yeah, uh, we'll see how it goes. Ethereum, Ethereum's working on that ascending uh, uh, triangle. It's got the three massive values there. It's that's on the six month. Um, so that's a big long time frame uh, pattern it's working on. So that should, should be significant. Um, uh, yep, yeah, so that's at $190, it's a high of $193, it's had a low of $186, that's going up 1.15%. Uh, uh, let's take a little look at gold. Um, let's have a look at gold, I'll zoom out a bit. I zoomed in too much here now. Uh, so gold, oh gold, yeah, gold's still looking bearish there. It's got its uh, three descending valleys. Um, uh, it's working on a downward trend channel uh, wedge thing. Um, the price of gold fundamentally bulls want to see heightened uh, U.S. recession fears. So, the gold bulls want to see because uh, you know with the um, stock markets being a bit choppy and rece uh, in recession somewhat, um, not in recession but going down, uh, the, the the gold bulls want to see that reflected in the gold price. Um, and I think also the the general acceptance that there's going to be a financial crisis should be reflected in the gold price. And the very fact that it isn't is odd. Um, um, which would either point towards it being uh, the gold price being fiddled or um, 
which a lot of people claim, uh, or maybe they're, they're finding other places to bet their money, maybe um, Bitcoin. Uh, so trade more and more, so the trade people are talking about the trade war. Um, uh, uh, yeah, there's not much in the not much in the news feed to report really there. And uh, it's just looking bearish, and it should be looking bullish. Uh, crude oil. So how's crude oil doing? Um, so uh, yeah, it's dropped out of its upward channel, and then it's kind of consolidating here. Um, uh, yeah, so it'd be interesting to see where that goes. It's 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 flat. It's flat at the moment, so it could go up. Uh, new Middle East proxy war could jolt oil prices. Um, so yeah, scary stuff. <laughs> uh, U.S. sanctions on Iran are now starting to take bite. In contrast to uh, what European media portray, Iran's oil and gas export are plunging. Ooh, dear me. Uh, global fossil fuel subsidies hit 5.2 trillion. Goodness. Um, so that's the news. I think it's 40%. Uh, so I think it's forty-four percent um, subsidized coal, and then forty-one percent subsidized subsidized oil. So, the true price of using oil and petrol, and you know all the oil products we use, isn't really reflected uh, in the market. Um, uh, governments are very much taking the the, the 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 burden there, or I suppose the taxpayer ultimately. Um, so, if you know if petrol prices were to reflect the actual price of oil, then um, you know let, we would be driving a lot less. Um, and then it really have an, a negative effect on the economy. So it's a bit of a hard game to balance to, to, to strike there. Um, so yeah, pretty scary stuff though. Uh, we need to move to green as quick as possible. I think we can all agree on that. Um, will Russia abandon the OPEC oil deal? So obviously there's a big uh, oil deal going on with OPEC, um, which may affect the oil price. So we'll keep an eye on that. Um, so the S&P 500, let's have a look at the S&P 500. Yep, dropped out of that channel, um, still in a downward, you know, short term one is a bit of a downward trend there. Um, uh, not much in the news feed. Can't be really bothered looking in the news feed. Feed to be honest. Um, yeah, it's, it's looking bearish. The uh, stock market's looking bearish. Um, uh, there's not much good news on the horizon. Uh, it's struggling to find new uh, markets. Um, I did see a, an article um, in this news feed before on uh, cannabis being the new blockchain. So. Um, I think people are looking to find new markets where they can make money and the CBD world seems to be one of those sorts of places. It's not a particularly bad place to put your money, I don't think, in the short term. Um, well, it's a gimmick, I don't know. Let's have a look at the Bitcoin Reddit, see how the general Bitcoin world is. Um, yeah, so still pinned at the top, don't invest recklessly, couldn't agree more, and also, you know, scale up your security uh, appropriately. Um, never forget Bitcoin has been declared dead 355 times, so yeah, um, check out Bitcoin and Bitrees, it's always, always good fun. Someone's um, compared the three bear markets here. So how the BTC market, bear market of 2018 compares to other previous bear markets. It's quite interesting because it kind of sits between the two of them. Um, it's the red squiggly line here. Uh, but it's also a reminder that, I mean, looking at these bear markets, it, it kind of you know points towards it popping back up. But um, it could, like this green line here, it could kind of like, you know, this could be kind of a false flag and it could drop again for a little bit. So... But we all know it's going to go back up eventually. Um, Bitcoin miners are earning eight times the fees of every other cryptocurrency combined. So the mining Bitcoin mining industry is still pretty profitable. Bitcoin's first thousand dollar weekend since 2017. So if that's not bullish, I don't know what is. Um, and then someone's got a video of lightning payment being fast here. An old video. Which is, HTC and oh yeah, HTC. So at the magical crypto conference, HTC unveiled a smartphone capable of running a Bitcoin full node, which is cool. Um, they say it was going to retail for about $300. And when you think a CASA node is like, you know, I'm sure you get Lightning working on this phone as well. But a CASA node is, um, uh, you know, $300. So this is the same price, except you've also got the function of it being a phone. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty cool that we're able to squeeze inside a phone. Um, so we'll see how that works out. Uh, just a shout out to the Magical Crypto Friends Conference. Had an absolute excellent time this weekend watching all the videos talks were amazing it almost felt like felt like honey badger 2017 like you know really spectacular talks um uh it was very much one of those conferences where we rolled out the talent you know like if you don't you know if you can't trust um the, the combined intellect of these guys um working on bitcoin then you know what, what else can you trust so um some some fantastic talks uh well worth watching if you haven't watched those so do watch those um, apart from that that's it have a very pleasant Monday, um, as pleasant as you can, and I'll speak to you tomorrow.